Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, friends. Happy Tuesday. Crush Monday got postponed again this week. I know. Sorry. Second week in a row. Crush Monday got postponed for an amazing cyber sale yesterday. And I am so stinking proud of all of you for your hustle yesterday. The guys, we slayed that sale. I mean, seriously, our team alone did over $5,000 in sales in like seven and a half hours. It was unreal. You guys seriously crushed it yesterday. So I have been doing a lot of um, thinking about what I want to teach in these weekly lives. So this week I decided to kind of teach what has been on my mind and what I've been doing. Um, I've been doing a lot of work with Fraser Brooks in the inner circle, and we've been talking a lot about the business of network marketing and the systems that we need to be successful. So, you know, the business of network marketing is pretty much networking, right? So what exactly does that look like and how, what kind of system do we have for making those things happen? Okay. So the number one thing in network marketing that you always want to be doing is generating leads. This means finding new people to talk to, working your list and growing your list. So you always wanna be building your network, finding more people to talk to. Look, that G is kind of a little, let's give it a little bit more power there. Let's make a little bit stronger G. Okay, so you always wanna be generating leads, building your list, and always be adding new people. And what do we do to add new people? Find them, add them, message them. This is the Fraser Brooks analogy. Find, add, message. Whether that be finding people in groups or finding people um, through other friends, there's um, people you may know, a lot of ways to find people that you don't know. Find a new person add them, and then immediately send them a message that says, hey, I found you this way, and I decided to send you a message. I would love to connect. I hope that you'll accept, or some statement, or why you decided to friend them. There was a woman that I saw one day who, um, she had an amazing profile picture. She was like holding her, her kids like upside down by their feet or something, and I like sent her a message. I sent her a friend request, and I messaged her, and I'm like, I just sent you a friend request because I really loved your profile. You look like you have an amazing personality and that's the type of person that I love to be friends with. I hope that you'll accept she did and now we've been chatting back and forth. So find them, add them, message them. Always be generating leads, always be adding people to your list. And then what do you do with them after this? Then you wanna try to recruit them, right? Whether you want to try to recruit them as a customer in your business or whether you want to try to recruit them as an affiliate in your business, you have to be willing to step outside your box and ask the question. Hey, just wondering, would you be open to more information to learn about my product or my business? Don't be afraid to, at, oh, dead marker, try a different color. You can't be afraid to ask and you cannot be afraid of the word now. You're going to get more no's than you're going to get yeses. The more no's you can get, the faster you can get the no, the more yeses you are going to get. Does that make sense? Because you got to get through a hundred no's to get to one yes. So the more no's you can get, the more times you ask the question and people say, yeah, no, I'm really not interested. Great. Thanks. But thanks for letting me know. Check. Moving on. Okay. Does that make sense? The next thing you need to do is duplication. Now, what is that? What does that look like? I am a horrible whiteboard writer. Sorry about my writing. This is providing great customer service. This is, hi, Evie. Thank you so much for your order. I really appreciate your business. Here's a link to a promotion that we have this month. Or, hey, Bob. Thank you so much for your order. This is the information on how to use your products. This is how you can learn more about them in our customer group. And this is how you can reorder. Duplication is providing great 
customer service. Your affiliates that are underneath of you are also your customers. It's not just people who are buying your product. It's people who are joining your team as well. So you have to provide great customer service to everybody that's underneath of you, whether they're a customer or an affiliate. And then the last thing, the last thing I have is communication. Especially with your new affiliates that are joining you within the team. You want to support them and mentor them. Don't let them feel like they are alone and they don't know what to do. That's the biggest reason that people don't do anything in this business. They sign up, they pay their $20, and then they go, well, I didn't really know what to do. So connecting with those people and helping them generate the leads, helping them learn to find ad message, helping them learn how to ask the question and not being afraid of no and not taking this personally, and how to provide great customer service to their customer. This is what you have to teach the people that enroll underneath of you. That way they can turn around and teach it again. It goes right back to duplication. So Bob signs up with me and he's a customer first and I say, hey Bob, thanks so much for your order. I really appreciate it. Here's how to use your oil. Here's our customer group. Here's how to reorder. Seven days later, I check in with him again. Hey Bob, how's it going? Just wanted to see how you were making out. Do you have any questions? Can I help you in any way? Seven days again. Hey, Bob, just wanted to check in, wanted to make sure that you check the level of your oil. If you think you might need some more, it's time to place an order. Do you need help reordering? Providing great customer service. And then Bob says, wow, this is really great. I love this stuff. It's working amazing. I'd like to do the business too. And you go, great. Sign him up. And then you start teaching him how to work his list, how to find, add, and message, how to ask people the question, hey, Bob, Hey Sally, would you be interested in learning more about my product or my or my opportunity? Here's a link to our customer group. Here's a link to how to pre-enroll. Let me show you a video about what we do. Don't be afraid of the word no. Teaching Bob that it's okay when people say no and that you've got to get to more no's to get to more yeses. So it just keeps repeating itself. Then Bob signs up Sally. Sally Bob says to Sally, thanks so much for your order. Here's how to use your product. Here's how to join our customer group. Here's how to reorder. Sally then, morning Evie. Sally then goes and enrolls her friend because she knows what to say. She knows how to find add new people. She knows how to ask the question. She knows not to be afraid of no. She knows how to provide great customer service and she knows how to support and mentor the next person. Just keeps repeating itself, right? This is duplication. This is how you build a big team. You will earn money selling the product. You will grow an income recruiting a team. All right, so now here's the next thing. I sucked at follow-up. And I say that in the past tense because I'm not there anymore. But for two years, I have absolutely sucked at follow-up. And it's taken me two years to kind of get into a rhythm. And I went, well, this isn't so bad. I wish somebody would have taught this to me. So that's the other part of what I want to talk about today is you've got this rhythm going, right? You're finding, you're adding your message, you're talking to people, you're asking people the question, but when do you follow up with them again? The fortune is in the follow-up, people. They say it all the time. Network marketing is all about your list and all about follow-up. I didn't get it. I've managed to survive, but I'm doing it better now, and I want to pay that forward. Okay, so we have three types of people that we're talking to, right? We have potentials. who haven't joined the business yet or purchased from us yet. We have customers and we have affiliates, right? So then how often do we want to talk to these people? Well, it depends on where they are in this flow over here, right? Did we just message them? Have they purchased a product? Have they signed up? So with the potentials, there's kind of like, I have like four different schedules, so to speak, for my potentials. 
So let's say I was talking to Sally and I sent her the link to either my website, CBD 101, or um, pre enroll aid, right? I sent her a link. Link has been sent. That's my hot top. That's my hot prospect. That's the person that I'm pouring into and spending the most time on right now. I'm going to contact this person every two days. I may actually contact her before that because I want to follow up within, within 24 hours of the time I send the link. So actually it might be one to two days. So if I send a link, I want to follow up with her the very next day. Okay. If, She ghosts me. I want to make sure I follow up with her again in seven days. I don't want to be a nudge. I don't want to be annoying, but I want to make sure that I stay in front of her so she doesn't forget. Maybe she just got busy. If after this seven days, she ghosts me again, this is going to happen. Then I'm going to put her on a 30 day list. And I'm going to contact her again in about a month. And then if she says no, I finally got to know, she's really not interested, then I'm going to put her on a year. Whoops, I don't know how to spell year. Year. Because just because it was not for her right now doesn't mean that it's not for her forever. Okay? So now I've got my list and I've got Sally's name on it. And I know that I've sent her a link. So I'm either following up with her within 24 to 48 hours after I've sent the link. I'm contacting her within seven days again. If she ghosts me, I'm contacting her in another month. If she ghosts me again or she says no, I'm actually, if she says no, I'm not if she ghosts me. If she ghosts me, I'm going to contact her every month. If she um, ghost says no, I'm going to put her on a list to call, follow back up with her in about a year. I'm in the second year of the business. I'm starting to go back to people that said no to me last year. Be like, hey, just checking in. Wanted to see how you were making out. How's it going? Is your life different? Is your life the same as it was then? Okay. Lives change. Situations change. Maybe that person isn't working the same job. Maybe that person has a different financial situation. Maybe that person has a different family situation. Things change. Okay, so that's the potentials, right? So either 24 hours, 7 days, um, 30 days, or a year. So then we have customers. This is pretty easy. They've already placed an order, right? So what I want to do is within the first month, I'm going to contact them every seven days. As soon as they place an order, I'm going to say, thanks so much for your order. This is how to use the oil. This is where to find more information in CBD 101. And this is um, how to reorder. A week later, I'm going to check in. Just wanted to make sure that your order arrived. Wanted to see how you were making out. A week later, just wanted to see how you're making out. Check on the status of your bottle. If See if you need to order more. You don't want to run out. Okay? Then I'm going to put them on a 30-day. Once a month, I'm going to check in with them, especially if they're regular customers. Hey, how you doing? How you making out with your oil? Just wanted to make sure that you know how to tip it on its side so you can see the level so you make sure that you don't run out. You haven't ordered in about a month. You probably want to put another order in soon. Is there anything I can do to help you with that? Tell them about their referral link. That's always a great thing to reach out. Hey, just wanted to remind you that you have a referral link where you can earn free product. Do you know how to find that referral link or can I help you? Okay. Now we have affiliates. Bob loved the oil and he wants to sign up. When you have a new affiliate, the week that they sign up, you want to talk to them every day. Every day. Because you want to help support them through this. They, you want to teach them how to talk to their customers. You want to teach them how to ask the question. You want to teach them how to find out a message. You want to teach them how to manage their list. What do you say when you follow up with a prospect? It depends. It depends on what I said last time. I try to keep that conversation going. Um, so, for example, if um, I sent them a link, 
I'll say to them, hey, Sally, just wanted to follow up with you. I sent you my link to the customer group yesterday. Just wanted to see if you found the information you were looking for or if you had any other questions that I can help you with. Can I tell you what you need to get started? Um, if they haven't replied to me, say I've sent them three messages and they've ghosted me every single time. Then I've been saying to them, Hey, Sally, I haven't heard back from you the last couple of times I've messaged you. Just wanted to find out if maybe you've been busy or if perhaps this isn't for you and you wanted me to follow up with you again in a couple of months. Or do you want me to take you off my list? That's another good one I like to use is I, I noticed you haven't replied to me the last couple of messages I sent to you. Wanted to make sure that you were okay. Hope everything is well with you. If you let me know if you'd like me to take you off my list. When they are working really hard, they've kind of got the hang of it, they're doing their thing, and they're hustling, you want to talk to them once a week. Even if it's just to reach out and say, hey, even if it's to answer a question, touch on the people that are working once a week. And as your team gets bigger and deeper, that gets harder. But I actually go through and see who's got volume in their tree, who's working their business, who can I help? Hey, Evie, just wanted to reach out to you, see how you're doing this week. Do you have any questions or is anything I can do for you? Can I help you with Credit Wallet? Hey, Cynthia, how was your event this weekend? You know, just touch them, love on them. People will stay forever if they feel supported and they feel valued. Does that make sense? This is, not a, uh, this is not always just a game of, of recruiting. It's a game of retention. You have to get people to stay. You want them to feel loved. You want them to feel a part of something. When somebody goes inactive and they're not working the business anymore, these are a lot of people. A lot of people will sign up and not do anything or sign up and then go inactive. I don't know why people pay the extra $20 if they're not going to do anything because it's not like we get a discount. We pay the same price. So we don't have that, oh, I just signed up for the discount. Why did you sign up if you weren't going to work the business? Boggles my mind. But it happens all the time. People go inactive. Then these are on my rotation to talk to them, you know, once a month for the first couple of months and then maybe move them to six months, maybe move them to 12 months depending on their situation and the conversations that I'm having. So that's kind of my, my follow-up schedule. There are several different ways that you can manage a follow-up schedule. You can do it in a paper notebook. You can do it in Excel. You can do it with a, um, you could do it with a box with index cards. Um, that's how I built my, my hair business. I literally had index cards with all of my customers' appointments written on them and the, the things I wanted to remember about them and when I needed to reach out to them to see if they needed an appointment. That's how I built my hair business, was a, literally a box with index cards. Currently, I have um, just over a 1,000 contacts in my um, follow-up flow, which is a little hard to manage, which is why I've been sucking at it so bad. Um, so what I am doing now is I am using an app. It's expensive. It's $30 a month, but there are ones that are out there that are cheaper. Um, the one I'm using is called Teamsy. There is, you know, Google, just Google it. Client Relationship Management System, CRM. There's tons of CRMs for network marketers. There's CRMs for salespeople. There are apps, there are websites. There's a ton of free tools out there. You can use your Google Calendar. You can find a thousand ways, but whatever you decide, write out a schedule, determine how often you're going to touch people, and then stick to it like it's your religion. Okay? So I hope that you found value in this today, the business of network marketing, how we're moving people from potential to customer to affiliate, and then how often we're following up with them. It kind of flows. It all goes together. This is what I've been working on mastering for myself. So I want to help you master it too. I would love to help all of you, each and every one of you, if you are hustling and you are working this business and you want to create a 2020 plan, reach out to me and let's create a 2020 business plan for you together. Okay? 
I would love to help you do that. I hope that you all are having an amazing Tuesday. We're looking forward to another announcement from corporate. We haven't heard anything yet, but everybody's really excited to see what's coming next. All right. Have a great Tuesday, my friends. Mwah. Love you all.